So I have two exercises in particular that I really like for ab training. They're both static exercises, which means you're not gonna be moving through a range of motion. You're gonna be holding a steady position for a certain amount of time. Now, it's important to remember, no matter what ab exercise you choose to do, you're focusing on that proper breathing and bracing. As long as you're doing that, you're gonna be getting value out of your ab exercises. However, these two are my favorites because I find that they carry over the best for both aesthetics and for strength. So the first one I'm gonna show you is vacuums. And I do these much, much different than most people. So most people, I think when they say train a vacuum hold, they're not really flexing their core. They're just breathing all their air out and holding, sucking in, trying to pull their navel, their belly button towards their spine and holding that position. Now that's good because that's gonna activate your transverse abdominus, which is the muscle that runs under your six pack and acts as like a natural weight belt, okay? It's gonna provide that type of support that you need for heavy training. And obviously practicing that position is gonna make your waist appear smaller. So it's beneficial in that regard. However, I think you can get a lot more out of this exercise if while you focus on that same movement, pulling your navel in towards your spine, you're also holding a good braced position with good core activation. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna find my core position, my braced position. I'm gonna flex my abs and then I'm gonna suck in, all right? I'm sucking in, I'm breathing air out of my diaphragm. I'm trying to pull my navel towards my spine and you can see there's much, much less of a difference in my waist. My, lace, my waist doesn't look as tapered. However, this is an extraordinarily difficult position to hold, especially while you're speaking, so I'm gonna stop. But what you're gonna do is find that position, start your vacuum hold by pulling, breathing out of your diaphragm, pulling in, pulling your belly button towards your spine. You can also think about pulling in a line from your hips, pulling in towards your belly button. That will accomplish the same thing. And you're gonna hold that for time. Now for me, I'll try and go for two minutes straight if I can't make it to two minutes because I'm tired from other exercises, I'll go as long as I can, I'll rest 15 seconds, and then I'll try and finish out that two minutes. But again, I wanna show you how it looks. I brace, I flex, and then I try and pull in. All right? This is a super effective exercise for both the regular vacuum where you're not bracing. It's still gonna work that TVA, but it's also gonna help you train and practice core activation and neutral spine position. And the second exercise I wanna show you all is the plank. Now I see so many people get this one wrong and the secret is just finding that proper brace position, that neutral spine, activated core muscles, okay? So first I'm gonna show you how most people do a plank, then I'm gonna show you the right way. Usually when I see people do a plank, they get in good position, right? They have their elbows, they have their feet, more or less the right position. Then as soon as they get up, they either shoot their butt in the air or they drop it all the way down. So they go up like this or they sag down like this. And no matter what they're doing, they're putting all that stress on their lower back, maybe on their quads, maybe on their hip flexors and not on the ab muscles where it needs to be. So don't do that. Instead, find your proper neutral spine position and then squeeze your abs. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And you get in position here. I'm gonna find my same brace position. I'm gonna squeeze my abs and I'm gonna hold this. I can hold this all day, I'm rock solid here, but my abs are on fire. Now what I'm trying to think about when I'm in the position is not driving my butt up or down, it's driving my chest up towards the ceiling, right? So when I'm driving my chest up towards the ceiling, that forces me to engage my abs, I can't do it otherwise, and it forces me to keep my spine in the right position because if I drive my chest up, I can't shoot my butt up and I can't sink my butt down. Um, it's very, very difficult. You probably won't be able to hold it as long as you can hold a regular plank, but it's a much, much more effective exercise. Now, again, I suggest that you do this one for time. It's probably not someone, probably not an exercise that you can add weight to, at least not at first. Two minutes is a good starting point. If you can't do two minutes, then go as long as you can, take about a 15, 30 second rest, and then try and finish out that two minutes. Once you can get to two minutes straight with good technique, then you can start adding weight. Um, but keep in mind, you know, even I struggle with about 100 pounds for more than 30, 45 seconds. So if you're able to load on three, four or five plates, you're probably not doing it right. And that's okay. You don't have to use a whole lot of weight to make this a really, really effective movement. 